Show. Hey, Bro Nation, welcome to the Bro Show where we talk about everything and anything and try to make sense of what's happening. This is your professional barcada. Magandang umaga. The Bro Show is always being brought to us by Evian Natural Spring Water. Water the way nature intended. Jack in the box, breakfast all the way. Breakfast all the time because Jack knows what you want. Nang Godfather shoes uniquely handcrafted, especially made just for you. And the medical city where patients are partners for your next medical travel to the Philippines. Call 988 8627 Look for Ate Raquel And for sure matutulungan kayo Again, the telephone number is 988-8627 Choose the Philippines Choose the medical city Once again, good morning to you And half a day to you, bros and sis My name is DJ Loser True Manila Man And I am with the bros Starting with Ang walang awang mambutata The professor <laughs> Professor Matt Lester Mattel Prof, good morning to you Good morning, good morning, DJ dudes. Good, good morning, half a day sa ating mga deba- tagapakinig. And, um, it's a surp- it's a Tuesday surprise para sa ating tagapakinig sa Bro Show Double. Alam ko, medyo pang Friday yung ano natin, yung mga surprise natin. I'm really excited for uh, for our show this Tuesday. Hindi ko napapatali pa, DJ dudes. Oh, okay, hindi kasi tayo makapaghintay pa ng Friday kaya naman ginawa na natin ngayong Tuesday sa ating Bro Show Double and to complete our Triforce ang hari ng tirang alahoy the white man Mr. Bojo Molina Bojo, good morning to you Good morning dudes, good morning bro and sabi mo nga, napaka-exciting tama-tama, mapwersa mapwersa itong ating uh, uh, panauhin dahil May the fourth be with you, so forceful. Iba ang force nito. Kaya, pero ba? na-umpisa na natin ito, DJ Dudes. Mm-hmm. You know, Professor, you know, Tito Bodge, itong guest natin ngayon, it's a combination of class and mass appeal. All in one package. Ganto katin dito. Isa sa mga idols natin. While growing up, we really look up to this wonderful man. Nobody does it better than the former commissioner of the PBA ang nagpasimula ng bayan ng mga superstars, Commissioner Noli Iala. Commissioner, good morning po sa inyo. Good morning, umaga. Good morning, uh, DJ Dudes, uh, uh, Professor Lester and Bojo. And half a day to everyone who's listening to your show. Thank you so much for your invitation. Half a day, Commissioner Noli. Commissioner, you've been to Guam. You've been here many, many times. Di ba po? Nakakapasyal na kayo dito. Nakabisita na po kayo. Uh, Commissioner Noli, pwede bang uh, kwentuhan natin yung ating mga kababayan dito noong mga times na uh, bumisita po kayo dito sa island? Oh, I, I've had um, a wonderful time in Guam. Um, at, uh, nakakasapat na beses na ata ako sa, sa inyong uh, napakagandang isla. Uh, I went there twice on a family vacation and then I went twice uh, para sa PBA. Uh, I do remember having played the game there. Um, naglaro kami dyan and uh, those were one of the um, uh, fun times that I've ever had dahil uh, nakita ko kung gaano kaganda ang inyong uh, lugar. At the same time kung gaano kainit ang pagtanggap ng uh, Filipino community dyan sa amin. And of course, the way the game was played, everyone enjoyed. Uh, I remember the, the boys, uh, the players, uh, shopping at midnight <laughs> because, uh, you know, they didn't have time, too much time really, but they, uh, your shops are open until midnight. I remember that. And, uh, you know, they had a wonderful time there. And certainly, uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that one day I'll be back. Yes, uh, thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner, alam nyo yung mga stores talagang uh, ano lang, binuksan lang para sa inyo hanggang hating gabi. Uh, ganun ka-special. Ganun ka-special. Bros, yung boxes pa lang ni Commissioner, grabe, talagang champion na champion na eh, no? Yeah. Uh, oh. Iconic na talaga eh. Come, we do have this uh, segment in our show. We called it Fast Talk. Ito. Hey, Commissioner, tawagin natin Fast Break. Fast oh, yeah. <laughs> Questions. Tama, tama. I will uh, pass the microphone to our professor, Professor Mada. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Commissioner, mabilis lang to. First thing that comes out of your head. Okay. Pinakahuling laro ng PBA na napanood niyo, na live. Ah, uh, that, that would be uh, uh, Pure Foods versus uh, versus Hinebra. Yung, uh, I had a visitor galing sa Canada and I brought them to the PBA. Siguro this was about uh, two, three years ago. Oh, okay. Very recent, very recent. Okay. <laughs> Sa mga inuman ko, ano mga ano ang hindi mawawala? Ah, uh, kwentuhan. 
Pumituhan. Safe, safe. Kaya ako baso eh. Baso. <laughs> Eto, uh, ano ang kanta na palagi nagpapaseyo sa inyo? Uh, ano, yung uh, uh, ng BST Company. Uh, hmm. Aawitin Ay. ko. Ano, eh, yung ano, uh, yung Oh, uh, yeah. basta VST and company. <laughs> Pinoy tayo. Mapapasin Pinoy. talaga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ito, sunod. Dakom. Adobo sa suka o adobo sa gata? Adobo sa gata. Taga Laguna ako eh. So, oh, talagang oh. Uh, kami mga Tagalog, puro gata ang aming gusto. Uh-huh. Tama, tama. <laughs> and uh, last question. Meron kami dito, uh, Com, na tanong na goat question uh, sa ating pasto. Greatest defender in the PBA of all time? Juan Fernandez. Uh, to me, he is the greatest defender. I remember him defending against imports. Hindi lamang Filipino. I think he can defend many positions. If not, I think all of the five positions kaya yung depends on. And of course, he can defend the imports. So I think he is the, the greatest defender I've ever seen. Oh, I love the answer of Commissioner Noli. Oh, grabe. Before we had LeBron James... Si El Presidente, ginagawa na yung mga ginagawa na. Diba? Oh, excuse me, Lebron. May Mon Fernandez kami dito. Uh, Commissioner Nolly, thank you for your answers. Nako, mahilig pala sa Manila Sound. Si Commissioner Nolly, at the same time siya ay taga Laguna. Ito ang first question natin uh, sa inyo, Commissioner Nolly. Mula rin sa taga Laguna. Kababayan nyo, Mr. Bojo Molina. Bojo, go ahead. Yo. <laughs> Ayun, may connect agad kami ni Com. Kasi, Taga Laguna, I'm a, I'm a favorite team ko is Toyota. Si Ramon Fernandez din ang one of my favorite players. So, Com, didre-direchohin ko na ha, para at least may connection na tayo ngayon at uh, malaman natin kung ano pwede pang malaman ng ating mga listeners. Alam naman nila na you're a uh, PBA commissioner, uh, executive director ng uh, Samahang Basketballista ng Pilipinas. At isa rin uh, boxing promoter. Pero paano ba kayo nagsimula? Paano nagsimula ang karir ng isang uh, Noli Ayala? <clears throat> Nakakatuwa yung kwento ko, Bojo, no? uh, gentlemen. Kasi ako, nagsimula ako really as a fan. I was, uh, madalas ko nang binabanggit ko. In fact, I just mentioned this to a group of uh, Globe, Globe uh, executives in their, um, in their career day. Ginawa nila akong tagapagsalita and uh, I mentioned this. Ako nagsimula as a fan. I was studying law school uh, back in the mid-80s uh, and um, si ang nasirang Romy Quintanar, yung original man on the ball, uh, had a radio program on uh, PTV4 and um, masyado akong fan ng basketball ng PBA that I would listen um, regularly to his show which was at One o'clock in the afternoon, hanggang alas stress ng hapon. No? So, eh, my classes would usually be at three. So, I would study um, before my classes at the Ateneo. So, um, you know, sa, sa sobrang kagustuhan kong makasama sa, us- sa usapan, kagaya ninyo, uh, nagpanggap ako. I, I gave a pseudo name and uh, my name was Carlo Ortiz. And I would call regularly sa radio program, no? Uh, And before I knew it, before um, you know, um, I, I before I realized, and dami na rin nakikinig sa akin as a as a regular phone in uh, parang fan who would give analysis on certain aspects of the game. Na tinatanong sa akin ni Romy Quintanar. Uh, one day he told me, uh, Carlo, sabi niya sa akin on radio, there is a there is a um, audition by Vintage Enterprises for. Uh, radio panelists and uh, commentators. Baka gusto mo sumama. I went to Vintage and over a hundred people uh, auditioned during that day and I uh, mapalad awa ng Diyos na tanggap ako uh, as one of the eight na tinanggap ng Vintage during that day including Chino Trinidad, um, hmm. uh, yeah, uh, si si uh, Jimmy Javier and uh, a few others. No? Yun yung batch ko. And that was really how it started. No? And um, years later, I mentioned this to my... Hey, the reason why I gave a different name was number one because uh, baka magalit yung tatay ko eh. Kasi baka sabihin niya, hindi kaya ta nag-aaral kung, kung nalaman niya ang tawag ako ng tawag sa, sa radio program ni Robbie Quintanar. And also because, uh, you know, at that time, I, I didn't know, you know, what to say. So I had a very good friend whose name was uh, similar to Carlo Ortiz. Kaya yun ang nagamit ko pangalan. But... 
That after that, uh, I became panel of vintage for radio. I was elevated to uh, television in 1992. After I did the um, uh, well, and then and then I did the Sea Games, and then I became the w- one of the regulars na sa PBA until uh, my time before I became commissioner. So talagang it really started with that, with my involvement in the Man on the Ball radio program ng aking kaibigan si Romy Quintana. Very interesting and very cute. Ang cute naman ng uh, genesis <laughs> ng kwento ng career ni Commissioner Noli. Mga call-in sa radyo. Tapos naging regular na. Yung uh, as a caller, inaabangan na rin kayo. Ang galing naman nun, uh, uh, Commissioner Noli. It just showed na kung gano'ng kayo ka-knowledgeable sa, sa ating sports. Okay? And then as we say, the rest is history. Yung sabi nga natin kanina, yung bosses ni Commissioner Noli, eh, talagang commanding. Eh. Talagang uh, kahit anong sabihin ni Commissioner Noli, maniniwala ka eh. <laughs> maniniwala ka talaga. Hindi, wala kang question. Oh, halimbawa, nadinig ng isang basketball player o oh, ipinasa. Hindi niya pa napapasa, ipapasa niya yon dahil nadinig kay Commissioner Noli. Eh. <laughs> Professor, you do have a uh, question? Go ahead. Yeah, I'm very interested because the style ni uh, um, when I when I was listening to him do the commentation in the PBA, iba eh. I, 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 Yes, definitely, Lester. Um, you know, every sabi nga nila, you know, um, there has to be some kind of pattern, some some person that you look up to. And I, I love the NBA. I, I, uh, I used to listen to watch the games in the NBA. No ano pa alam yun? Tatanda niyo yung yung sa Clark, yung Fen, yung Far East Network, um, where you will mm-hmm. wake up at three in the morning just to <laughs> pick up a signal sa Clark mm-hmm. because you have an antenna. <laughs> And uh, I would watch those games. And I, I am a big Philadelphia uh, 76er fan. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, regularly, I uh, watch ako ng NBA. And my biggest uh, idol then was the pair of Dick Stockton and Newby Brown. Uh, that was uh-huh. my, my, my big, big uh, uh, baga, idol, si Dick Stockton. No? Uh, every uh, intro that he did, I tried to emulate. Uh, and all the things he his timing his uh, the way he spoke uh, Dick Stockton was my guy and of course the other guy that I na ginaya ko in terms of his style was Marv Albert the Czar so um, you know uh, those were the two guys that um, uh, uh, that I really but Dick Stockton was the guy um, uh, sorry sorry there, there was like a Mar I, I forgot the other guy but Dick Stockton was really the guy that acting pinatter yung aking uh, style sa commentating commentating sa PBA. Mm-hmm. Commissioner, we mentioned earlier you're a combination of class and mass appeal. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, pero uh, based on my recollection and our recollections sa mga broke, ayu uh, yu yung ano eh parang naghumanize ng PBA yeah. because uh, before okay before the earlier generation ng PBA talagang straight English yan, na, eh. yeba? Yun ang ating appeal. Eh. Pero nung uh, pumasok na ang Mr. Noli Yala, a combination of yes, English, okay, calling the game in English, tapos biglang hihirit na mga talagang pasok na pasok sa panlasang Pinoy. Eh. Di ba, binura mo ka, o oh, nagkape sa ere, eh. o oh, nakahiga na, tumitira pa, yung mga ganun eh. And that made the game more interesting, eh. more lovable na talagang eto, this is our game atin to. Commissioner, saan nyo nakukuha yung mga sundot na ganun? Yung mga matitinding uh, punchlines nyo? Alam mo, dalawa yan, uh, DJ Bibbs, no? Um, nung kumukuha ng commentators ang vintage, natatanda ko ang, uh, ang nasira din si Mr. Bobong Velez. Eh, nung araw, ang hilig niya, puro mistiso, you know, yung mga commentator, no? Um, mm. Makumamana tayo nyo, si Kinito Henson, si Steve Catan, uh, mm. ma- mga si uh, Waki Trillo, mga, mm. mga, po- mga pogi at mga mistiso. Nung pumasok kami, <laughs> Puro, puro kami mga may itim at indyo. Kami nila Chino, no? kami nila Jimmy Abier, ni Ed Pixon. Kami yung mga, kami yung mga medyo nag-iba na. And at that time, uh, sabi sa amin ni Mr. Bobong, uh, medyo dumikit tayo ng konti sa masa. So, um, so that was one. Sinabi sa amin ng uh, big boss namin na uh, let's try to bring this down to the level of the masses in terms of how they speak, what they use during 
when they play basketball no sa kalye no uh, in in the playgrounds and in, of course in school so yun mga yun pinag-aralan ko no pangalawa you know at that time there was a huge uh, attack hindi naman attack but you know there was a there was sort of a um, uh, another league that was being formed yung NBA and uh, at that time the PBA was really threatened by the NBA no uh, so kami mga broadcasters sa PBA Again, we were given this uh, task to make sure na uh, ibabarin. Kasi no, nang panahon na yun, ang I think tagline ng uh, NBA was uh, parang liga ng masa or something like that. You know? So kami, we had to come up with something. And that's where the bayan ng superstars uh, came around. So, it was a play on both that parte kami ng bayan, but at the same time, the only ones that play in this league is, are the stars, no? are the superstars. And I think I was the one that was the most communicative pagdating dun sa ganong klaseng tema na talagang pinukpok ko na pinukpok yung bayan ng superstars. I I said it in so many ways, in so many styles, in so many intonations that uh, talagang dumikit. No? So uh, uh, to me, uh, it was both a necessity na kailangan naming buhayin yung, yung spirit ng PBA kaya tinaglish namin. At the same time, it became a style. No, It became a way for me to be different from uh, yung mga napakagagaling na mga commentators like Joe Cantada and and uh, Pingoy Pengson and everyone else. So, uh, I, I I think that um, uh, sometimes you just have to adapt to the times depending sa mga sitwasyon na nangyayari. Pero Commissioner, you've mentioned, uh, you have uh, said uh, the bayan ng uh, superstar lines in so many ways, so many times. Yes, talagang pinukpok niya po. And ito, nakadrill talaga sa aking isipan, <laughs> sa aming mga puso hanggang ngayon. And you know what? It solidifies our culture. Eh. Kasi ang kultura ng mga Pilipino, let's face this, okay? Real talk, mga bros. Talagang taglish tayo eh. Tapos yeah. nung ang PBA ng Bayan, which is a uh, Filipino word, and then superstars, pinagsama niya talaga eh. And I always say this, PBA is the perfect example, it's the perfect model where everyone meets. Ito talaga yung meeting point ng lahat ng Pinoy. All walks of life na nonood, nakaka-relate sa PBA. And I would say this, and uh, Commissioner Noliala is a big part of that movement eh. Kaya nagkaroon tayo ng ganyang klaseng uh, solid na PBA ngayon. Uh. Uh, Tito Bodj, another question. Go ahead. Yeah, at grabe. No? Pag pinakikinggan ko yung mga kwento ni Kong Noli, talagang, ano eh, iba, iba. Na, kung baga nadadala tayo sa mga, doon sa actual uh, event na nangyayari. So, uh, Coach Noli, ang tanong ko, sa lahat ng position na hinawakan nyo, sa lahat ng things na nagawa nyo sa karir nyo, can you give us a few of the memorable ones, maybe two or three memorable ones na talaga sa tingin niya nasa top yan ng list ng mga memorable things na nangyari sa karit niyo. Wow! Uh, alam mo, yung aking, yung aking uh, pagtatrabaho sa PBA, sa SPP, uh, and, and of course sa San Miguel as the sports director, and uh, for a while, I tinatag ko yung Liga Pilipinas uh, after my stint in the PBA as a regional league. Ang dami nung uh, mga pangyayaring uh, napaka- uh, memorable para sa akin. Sa PBA, I guess uh, uh, it is really, you know, um, being with a lot of the fans kasi ako yung talagang nag-institutionalize ng All-Star Week. It was not just an All-Star Day or an All-Star Game. It became an All-Star Week when we started this in Cebu back in 2004. Uh, I, my idea was I wanted to be, I wanted the All-Star Week to be similar to the uh, Super Bowl. Uh, I want it to be like the NBA All-Star Week. Na talagang uh-huh. matagal ang mga players magbabakasyon, they have a good time. But at the same time, there is community involvement. No? So all of the things that I did during the uh, All-Star Weeks from uh, 2004 all the way to 2007, talagang ano yun, nakatatak sa aking, uh, sa aking uh, isipan. Lalong-lalo na nung nagsayaw ako bilang igorot nung All-Star Week sa Baguio. No? I was uh, uh-huh. given a honorary uh, induction as a tribal man ng isang tribe sa Baguio during the All-Star Week at sumayaw ako na igorot. No? So it was really uh, my fun times. Of course, there were little, a lot of other things, my interaction with players, things that I never could do. Um, my, my, ako kasi fan ako when I started. So just being with the players was a, you know, a thrill of a lifetime. And at the same time, yung Yung mga little things na outside of the basketball court. No, um, I've been, I've seen everyone. I've seen presidents sit beside me during a championship game. Si, 
si GMA was there to watch a championship game. The only time that the sitting president ever saw or watched the PBA game, to the point where, uh, to, uh, to all the way to pagsakay ko sa aeroplano dahil pauwi na kami from a provincial game, in the cockpit, inibita ko ng piloto to sit in the cockpit so that I could see the takeoff and the landing of wow. uh, of an airplane. So, you know, those were my uh, fun moments in the PBA. It's um, SPP, of course. It's, you know, um, uh, the, the time that we uh, trained with Gilas, um, my time in FIBA when I met Patrick Bowman and Boris uh, 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 Stanislav, um, uh, the, the big man, no? Um, all of these legends in basketball that I met, talagang those were... I, I went to the World Congress of FIBA in 2010s, uh, Turkey, where I met so many of the legends of basketball. I watched a, a world championship game, and um, it, it was really unbelievable, yung, yung mga experiences, yung mga karanasan ko dyan. And then, of course, uh, winning a championship for San Miguel, um, behind sa Petro, uh, when we were doing Petron versus Token Tex, we were down in that series. Last second shot, na nalo, Danny Ildefonso, turning back mm-hmm. the hands of time. Papandan Tumira, he gave us a championship. Denzel Bones defeating Tokentex um, in, a, in a miraculous championship for, uh, for um, uh, Pure Foods. Uh, Nagsbintis ng free throws, si Ali Peak, and then Denzel Bones picks it up and he wins it at the buzzer. And I remember the, the sheer excitement of JC Intel running to the stands. <laughs> and you know all of those things put together it's been a magnificent um, time for me and a magnificent career that I've experienced in my life <laughs> Nakakatuma wow. talaga si Commissioner Nolly. Ito ha, ah, I'm just being mesmerized listening to uh, Commissioner Nolly recalling the games, the plays on top of his head. Para akong ano eh, talagang parang nanonood ako ng actual game eh. Papat ng tira, di ba? <laughs> Running on the sands. Nakakatuma si Commissioner Nolly. Hindi lang Commissioner, hindi lang Director, hindi lang Abogado, Mumbaki rin pala, Piloto rin pala, daming na experience. <laughs> Commissioner Nolly, thank you so much for representing the Philippines. And uh, I mean, uh, we cannot be uh, more proud than that uh, as you, as uh, the representative of the Philippines sa uh, mga major basketball events natin. Maraming salamat. Uh, it's been a great honor for me. And I've always said that my time in the PBA will always be uh, the fun times for me, the good times. And uh, I will never forget them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Professor, you do have another question for Commissioner Nolly? Yeah, of course, hindi natin malalagpasin yung nandito si Commissioner Nolly kasi uh, we know that he is a sports savant talagang very well uh, connected and very well informed in the world of sports. So mabilisan lang uh, comment, probably Bodra has a couple of questions. Meron kami mga tanong about current current sports uh, issues and we hope to get your insights. Unang tanong natin um, sa inyo, uh, Com, um, in, regarding Gilas Pilipinas, ano sa tingin niyo yung kailangan gawin ng Gilas in order for us to take it to the next level uh, in the FIBA World Cup and perhaps qualifying for the Olympics? Well, I think they're doing the right thing. Uh, they're in the right track. Uh, you know, yung ginawa nila programa with the All Cadets, I think that is uh, a very good program. I've always believed in that. I did that as part of my program back in 2009 with the original Smart Gilas team. And, um, you know, I'm just happy that pinagpapatuloy in whatever version it is, uh, Getting the young guys, I, I believe in long-term planning. I don't believe in the pickup system. Uh, I think the PBA can help uh, maybe by providing games for Gilas. And naniniwala pa rin ako na ito mga batang ito, buuin na natin ngayon because uh, they will be the players anyway in about two to three years. Sila na rin yung lalaro naman eh. Unahan na natin ngayon, palaruin natin sa PBA para lalong masanay. No? Uh, I think the naturalized uh, player program is very important. I just think that they have to add uh, a coach. If it's Tab Baldwin, it's, it's Tab Baldwin, no? Pero kung, mm-hmm. kung hindi pwede yung program director, sudo, coach na coaching on the side, yes. uh, may mukhang ganun si Jong Owichiko, uh, magpakatutuo sila, no? If it's Tab, then Tab. Huwag na natin bulahin, no? Yun lang naman ang akin, no? So let's just do that. Uh, uh, and then, I think, um, uh, getting maybe more players from abroad, uh, more players to train abroad, that is a terrific plan. Uh, Kai Soto coming in, 30, hopefully will play for the national team. And then you have uh, AJ Edu. Uh, and of course, the biggest part of that, I think, is if you can get Jordan Clarkson to play um, by changing the rules of the FIBA, lobbying hard 
na basta may dugong Pilipino palaruin para sa national team. I think it is going to work for us and hopefully uh, by 2023 uh, malakas tayo for our hosting of the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Commissioner, I really love what you have said because eh, going back to uh, you know, as uh, the commissioner of the PBA, you opened the gates for the Phil Ams. Diba? Mga Pilipino sila, why not paglaruin din natin sila sa ating bansa, sa ating liga. And uh, until now, we are enjoying that. And uh, in a way, Commissioner, you have seen the future doon sa actions yung mga yun. Sabi nga nila, medyo I was ahead of my time. Eh, because uh, mm -hmm. even back then, re remember, nung bago ka, bago ko pinalaro ang uh, play, PBA players uh, national team, hindi naglalaro ang PBA except for the Asian Games yes. uh, during that time. So that was the agreement with uh, Commissioner Rudy Salud at that time. No? Um, eh, but ako, during my time, I convinced the board when I came up with my fourth quarter plan, it was a, a three-point uh, program that I presented to the board of changing the calendar of the PBA, changing the number of conferences in a year, and allowing PBA players to participate in national team contests full time that was the program mm -hmm. no? uh, and uh, that's why in 2005 nas nagsimula yon despite the fact na nakaban tayo sa FIBA dahil nag-away ang BAP at saka yung ibang grupo no so um, i really believe in that i believe in PBA players participating but it has to be in a program and um, and it has to be long term mm -hmm. ano na luma na yung pick up system it has never worked and it will not work. We are not the U.S. dream team. So it will never work. So I, I just feel that this new program that is being started by uh, uh, the SBP is something that is really good. Resolve consistency. And of course, we really have to be true to ourselves. Galing naman talaga ni Commissioner Nolly. Uh, Tito Boj, any last message kay uh, Commissioner Nolly at sa ating Bro Nation? Welcome, maraming maraming salamat. At meron pa ako isang question na lang ha, doon sa gagamitin ko na rin yung crystal ball mo kasi visionary ka eh. Etong dadating na laban ni Manny Pacquiao, uh, alam ko si Ryan Garcia na yung kakalabanin niya ata. What's your prediction on this? Uh, is this the right uh, fight for him or yung kay Terence Crawford dapat? Uh, ako I I I really don't like the fight. Um, um I think it doesn't give Manny anything. <laughs> yun ang yes. aking position. Uh, Ryan Garcia is very young. Uh, you know, he's trying to make a name out of money. Money doesn't need it. Uh, of course, uh, alam naman natin kung bakit lumalaban pa sa si Senador Manny. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think Terence Crawford would have been a better fight. At least kung yan ang magiging huli niyang laban, it should have been a, you know, a guy na talagang established na somebody that uh, obviously has, has fought the best and uh, is considered as pound for pound, one of the best, and uh, I think that should, should have been a good fight. But even then, kung ang laban niya ay si Ryan Garcia, uh, I think uh, it, it, uh, Senator Manny will have a, uh, you know, a good time uh, picking this fight apart dahil sa kanyang experience. Uh, I think he will break him down slowly and uh, it will go the distance, ang um, feeling ko. I think uh, Senator Manny does not have uh, the same kind of uh, kumbaga, hindi lang, ano eh, uh, meron pa yung suntok eh, pero yung resolve, parang masyado mm -hmm. yung, uh, ano si Senator Manny, yung uh, maawain. And, uh, you know, uh, I think it will go the distance and I think he will get a, a unanimous decision victory here. Laban si Ryan Garcia. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Professor, any last message to Commissioner Anoli and to our bro nation? Oh, uh, I was about to say happy weekend, pero Tuesday pa lang pala. Kala ko kasi yung mga ganito, special na episode Friday lang to eh. But thank you, uh, Komnoli, for all of you that you've done for the world of sports. And we hope to, of course, uh, still hear from you in, in, your, uh, in your program also uh, uh, in the future. Uh, and yeah, more power. Uh, and maraming maraming salamat po for guesting in our program. Thank you, Lester, for making this possible. Maraming salamat for your kind words. Commissioner Noli, maraming maraming salamat po. It's a dream come true for all of us. For me, really, you're one of my idols. Talagang uh, kasama kayo sa Mount Rushmore na mga tinitingala ko mga broadcasters wow. sa Pilipinas. Ibang klase talaga. Uh, Commissioner Noli, pwede ba kami mag-request? Pwede bang uh, makahirit ng uh, low body does it better mula sa bayan ng superstar? Pwede ba? Pwede ba, Commissioner Noli? Uh, anytime. Uh, bago ko gawin yan, gusto ko magpasalamat sa iyo, DJ Goods, and of course, Bojo, and uh, the Professor Lester for the invitation. It's really an honor for me to be here and to greet all of our Kababayans in Guam. Uh, 
half a day and uh, sa mabuhay. Sana po lahat kayo na sa mabuting kalagayan. And remember, uh, you know, um, you know, sports is our life. You know, ang akin lang isang mensahe, no? Nothing lasts forever. No, this pandemic will end. Uh, so, tayo umasa na kaganda rin ang ating, uh, ang ating mundo, finally. So, again, as I always say, this is the PBA and nobody does it better. Yes! That really made our year. Thank you so much, Commissioner Noli Yala. And to you, bros and sis, I thank you so much for always listening to us. My name is DJ Dudes, and we're always reminding you to work hard, to be kind, to pray harder. Amazing things from God will definitely happen. Please enjoy your Tuesday. Always be clean and disciplined. And God bless everyone. May the Ford be with you.